Welcome to my garage Mahal again. Um, today we're going to be doing 3D printing to replace a nylon part. Uh, the nylon part fits into a turn signal indicator switch. It's the return mechanism. A little clip that gets flipped to be able to return the, the um, turn signal indicator switch back to its original position. Um, my car unfortunately lacked that or lacked an intact one and so the switch was inoperative. I had uh, put a temporary setup in. It was rather embarrassing, actually. It was a toggle switch. It did the trick, but it um, was underneath the dash and not in the usual place on the, on the wheel. Um, this entails the creation of a part in a virtual mode, uh, a, a, a computer file that then is transferred into a 3D printer. And then the second half of the movie will actually show how that piece goes into the turn indicator switch. The trouble with this one is that it broke. One of the arms fell off. Uh, currently, the vendors do not have them in stock. They're awaiting another shipment. And I was wondering, maybe I could set this thing up and do a 3D printing job of it. I started off by cleaning things up and then I spray painted it and scanned it. I used the scanner, regular plate scanner, and then I found that I really needed to do a clear job of um, documenting the sizes so that I could actually expand these things into um, a visual model. I used SketchUp, which is free online, and uh, it was a little putsy because you actually have to uh, think about the, the entire model from its surface. Um, SketchUp just does surfaces, uh, even though you actually need to do a solid. And I used something called Solid Inspector to be able to make sure that the, the surface itself had integrity. Then it was a matter of uploading to 3D Printer OS and having a PLA model created. I want to come in and get a close-up of view of the part and, you know, the part itself. Interesting little, little contraptions here and down here to hold up the part. And this one, I think, is the low-resolution one. And then there's another one. No, this is the low-resolution one. All of this excess stuff comes off. Wonderful. Now, with this part, I'm going to compare it against the original. This one still has some spring, but it's made out of... Um, AB, uh, ABD? I can't know. What is the... PLA. This is what? PLA. Okay. And that's that's not as springy as the uh, original nylon. But if this conforms to what I need it to be, I'm going to go ahead and, and do a nylon part. Here's the parts. My two, my two first, first prints. 3D printing is actually pretty interesting to watch. Um, you have um, a machine that just goes over a surface and lays down a thin, thin uh, amount of media. I put the model up on Thingiverse, which is online at Thingiverse.com, and uh, the models can be downloaded and um, then uh, converted into something that can be printed on, on a 3D printer. Putting the part in place entailed being actually creative about un unpacking the whole thing. Um, I, uh, I actually had to fashion a tool out of a nail in order to be able to get the pin out um, that held the arm of the uh, turn signal. Inside there's a pin that uh, activates the flasher, um, that is the headlight flasher when you want to overtake someone who's slow. After I drilled off the flare on the end of the connector, um, I just pounded it out. I 
and then I was able to slip the nylon clip into place. Pretty part fit in perfectly. Now I think that if I were to do this again, I would either get a new pin uh, that holds the, the pieces together, or I might use a little bit of Loctite, because uh, I think that maybe uh, if anything gets loose, uh, it's likely to be that part. It's held together by friction. A little bit of convincing with the hammer did the trick. And you can see how the whole piece is actually functioning the way it should. Flasher, the headlight flasher pin goes in. The other side, there is uh, a bit of uh, work there to put together the contact. Now I did make a mistake. You might notice that there's a little copper disc with a hole in it. Looks like a copper washer. I failed to put that in, at least in the first time. Springs go in, contacts. If you have small hands, you have an advantage. And then the pin that holds the turn signal arm in place gets knocked back. A little bit of convincing there. discovered that I had forgotten so a piece came up pieces all came off and now the the contacts the actual piece of the the, the indicator that has the electronics or the contacts on it goes into place with just two regular screws and there it is a functioning a functioning turn signal There was a little bit of an irony to this because when I finally got the whole thing in place, I actually got an email from one of the vendors saying, at last, the back-ordered part has arrived. Can I order you one? Um, and unfortunately, I said to him, well, I've done my own 3D print of it. I did notice, however, that the price has dropped significantly. And I think that probably it's cheaper right now to buy it from the usual than it is to 3D print something.